from Shri City to Sydney. And that's the route that the newly manufactured Sydney Metro coaches will take before they go on track. Now, built in Andhra, Shri City by French manufacturing major Alstom, the Sydney Metro is also the company's first export project from India. CNBC TV 18's Jude Sanit hops on a train with Alstom's managing director, Alain Sfor, to get a first-hand glimpse of the train. Take a look. Well, something very interesting that I have to ask you is, it's quite different from previous projects that you've done for Indian Metro Rails. Mm -hmm. If you could just take me through, what are the major differentiators involved while pulling off the Sydney Metro Rail project? Really? I say the first difference which you will see is when you look here around, mm -hmm. it's a six-car metro as mm -hmm. compared to our metros in India, which are four-car or three-car. Mm -hmm. So it's a much bigger equipment. Mm -hmm. Regarding the internal layout, it has been adjusted to the requirement of uh, the mm -hmm. uh, Australian customers. Mm -hmm. It's bigger, it is larger, it is more spacious. But except this, the uh, equipment, uh, the quality of the fixture, the quality of the workmanship is exactly the same as it is for our Indian jobs. Right. And something very interesting, the big differentiator really, is that what we are standing in is a driverless metro rail engine in a sense. If you could just take me through how there are no controls really here. And this is visibly different from an Indian metro car where you have a partition really mm -hmm. for the controls, you know, to separate them from the passenger compartment. So how does the technology work here with regard to it being a driverless train? I would say a driverless train, as, you say, as the name says, is a train without driver. So mm -hmm. it is totally operated from the central control station. Mm -hmm. It's connected to the rail control system mm -hmm. and it is operated from outside of the cab. Right. What you see here is a very fundamental and basic, I would say, equipment which mm -hmm. is used for operating the train when it is out of the line for the metros mm -hmm. or for this type of for in the depots or this type of activity. Mm -hmm. uh, so with regard to the project itself, what was the total timeline it took for manufacturing these trains? Of course, we're right in front of uh, the last rolling stocks that's shipping out today to Sydney. Yeah. Uh, while the conceptualization took four years, how long was the manufacturing time? The so first the, train, the, train. Uh, the prototype, will came out, I would say, uh, one, one, one half to two years from now, mm -hmm. two years from now. Mm -hmm. The real ramp-up of production started in September last year. Right. And from September last year to today, we have delivered more than 18 trains mm -hmm. with six coaches, which right. have been delivered in 18 months. Okay, all yeah. right. You know, moving forward, I have to ask you then, uh, this is, of course, the first export project, yeah. and you've pulled it off on time. Uh, but there are more in the pipeline. You're, yes. of course, doing a set of the Mumbai Metro Rail mm -hmm. Project Line 3. Mm -hmm. You're also doing the Montreal Metro Rail. Mm -hmm. So what's the order book looking like with regard to future projects that you're hoping to pull off from Sri City? But I would say our focus has been over the last month to complete all our ongoing jobs. Mm -hmm. Last month, we have shipped uh, the last train of Lucknow. This month, we ship this one. We have other ceremonies to ship the trains for the domestic market. Mm -hmm. And this is to prepare our factory to increase our capacity. All right.